Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video on my channel. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. This video is part 2 of our series on texturing in Clo 3D. I recommend watching part 1 first, which is episode 19 of the Clo Beginner playlist. For this tutorial, we will be using the skirt model that we created in episode 9. If you want to learn how to model it, you can watch that episode. In part 1 of texturing, we learned how to use the default fabrics in Clo 3D. In this video, we will be creating a fabric from an image of a pattern. First, we click on the fabric that we defined in this section. Then, in the Property Editor window and the Texture section, we drag and drop the image of our choice. As you can see, the pattern in the photo is our model. To give the fabric a realistic look, we need to add a normal map to it. We can create a normal map using Photoshop or a website that creates normal maps. We are going to create the normal map using Clo 3 d itself. To do this, in the Property Editor window and the Normal Map section, we change the intensity value. We use the scroll wheel to increase the value. Initially, we set the number to zero so that there is no normal map. We zoom in on the image so that the pattern and texture of the fabric can be seen better to see the result of changing the normal map. As you can see, the value is initially zero. If we set the value to 10, there are slight changes in the edges of the leaves. If we set the value to 50, lines are visible on the surface of the pattern and leaves. If we increase the value to the end, a textured look is created in the background of the pattern. For now, we will set the normal map value to 20. To create a 3D effect on the fabric, we use the displacement map. To do this, we first convert the original image to black and white in Photoshop and drag and drop the output to the displacement map section. This does not change the fabric and we need to see the changes in the rendering mode. Before we go to the rendering mode, we need to pay attention to one thing. It is possible that after adding an image as a texture to the model, lines may appear that are the result of the misalignment of the pattern tiles. To fix this problem, with the 2D environment window of the software active, click on the edit texture. When you select this option, a number of lines in the form of arrows are created on the patterns. By selecting these arrows, we can move the pattern on the patterns or resize it. We use this option to move the pattern to the desired location on the pattern to get the desired result. We do the same thing on the back. By selecting Transform Pattern, we exit the Edit Texture. We return to this section again. So far, we have added a texture, a normal map, and a displacement map. To see the changes that the displacement map has made to our project, we need to go to the rendering mode. From the top menu of the software, click on the render. 
Initially, there is nothing to display. By clicking on the interactive render, the output processing starts to display the rendered state of the image on the left. The amount in the displacement map section is initially zero. We set the value to three and press enter. After the rendering of the render window is processed again, the bumps on the fabric are visible. These bumps are not visible in the left window and are only visible in the right window. With increasing this value, the bumps increase. It is important to note that you should choose a value that does not create an unrealistic look in the fabric based on the pattern. From the type section, we can select the fabric type. For example, if we select the silk mode, as you can see, a shiny look is created in the fabric. Or by selecting the velvet mode, we can create a velvet fabric. For leather fabric, we can select the leather. Select the gender that gives the fabric a more beautiful and real look based on the pattern of the fabric. For example, I will select the silk and satin. If we want to change the color of the fabric, as we learned in the previous episode, we first turn on this checkbox to have a white and raw fabric. Then from the color section, we can assign the desired color to the fabric uniformly. This color seems appropriate for this skirt. For the top of the skirt, we also choose the same type and color as the bottom. We were able to easily create a beautiful skirt with a stylish pattern and color. In the end, we can exit the rendering mode by pressing the stop button. You can use this method to create various textures with different colors and types for your fabrics. You just need to be a little patient and have good taste. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new videos.